Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Jen and today I am going to be tackling some bathroom organization. I have been wanting to do this for quite some time. I'm wanting to organize the cupboard that is under the sink of our bathroom. We live in a condo, so if y'all know, if you're living in a condo, you know how tight space can be and how little, you know, areas that you have to store things and, and that sort of thing. So I was looking at like Ikea, I was looking at Walmart, like Bed Bath & Beyond, or is it, yeah, Bed Bath & Beyond. So yeah, I was looking on there and like everything that I was looking for, I was basically looking for like a stacked um, like storage drawer situation, you know, where you could put stuff in, pull it out, that sort of thing. But everything that I found was either too expensive, it was like around like 40 to $50 minimum, or the, like I did find one at Ikea, which was like only maybe like 20 to $30, but I read the reviews and it didn't seem like it was very like good quality and it was really hard to put together. So I'm like, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money if you know, the quality isn't there. So I decided maybe I can do this by going to Dollarama and kind of putting things together myself, you know, doing sort of a shabby chic sort of situation. So I have gone to the dollar store. I have found a few things. So I'm going to take you all along with me and let's see if this is going to work out, if I'm gonna be able to organize everything under the sink. And uh, yeah, we'll see if it's a success or not. So let's get started. Here's the state of the bathroom, okay? So I have only one sink. We have some shelves over there. We have this medicine cabinet over here. And then down here, <laughs> this is where the disaster is right now. Um, a long time ago, I bought these um, clear containers that you can kind of see there <laughs> under everything else um, that were from Ikea. And I was like, oh yeah, that'll be a great storage situation. But it just turns out that it's just hard to get things in and out of. Every time we have to get something from those like those those containers there, we have to pull everything out. So it's quite a nightmare. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to go through all of this and, um, you know, try and see if I can make it much more organized and easier to find stuff. everything out sorry the lighting is kind of so bad but like look at the state of this it's really gross um we obviously haven't done this in a while so <laughs> i am just going to wipe out um the shelf in here using this just all-purpose cleaner it smells like grapefruit i love this um this uh, scent on this one i really like it so i'm gonna just wipe this out and i found like these random toilet seat bolts like the things you'll find when you clear things out oh yeah also our sink is like kind of broken this is for the you know that blocks the the drain and we just haven't been able to put it back so we'll figure that out at some point <laughs> to find at the dollar store I really wanted to find some sort of riser sort of situation um, where you can get you know some height in here because I mean there's so much room up above um, so I might get I might even get another one but I wanted to make sure first to see how it would fit that sort of thing and I found these baskets so these can actually fit right underneath and you could still pull them through. Now, obviously it's probably gonna be a bit easier once there's something in here and I'm doing it with one hand. So it's kind of awkward, there we go. So yes, they will still slide out. So now I at least have some sort of drawer slidey situation. Also, there's still some room at the back. So you'll see how it can like still slide. I got these smaller baskets and they actually slip in right behind like that. So I could put more stuff in there. And then this, when we're sliding it in and out, it won't um, it won't slide all the way back. So it kind of gets stopped there. So and then I can fit another one right on top and another little basket right behind like that. So that's the tiered situation that I'm going for. And then I have one extra one because these actually came in a pack of three. So 
I have an extra basket, I guess, that I could potentially use. So we'll figure that out. I had these two baskets that I thought would fit pretty nice beside that. And you know, they match, they have holes in them. So, you know, you can still kind of see what's inside. I'm going to put maybe like, I don't know, shampoo or um, what else did I have? Like I have so much stuff to go through still. It amazes me how much dental stuff we have. Like I just threw out a bunch, but like, it really builds up over time because like every time we go to the dentist, they give us like a toothbrush. They also give us floss. Can anybody else relate when they have like so much of that stuff? And like here too, I put like floss and stuff in here. I'll probably put more. And like, I just have so much. And like the excessive packaging on these, like who needs this big of a packaging for like, what is, what is in here? 12 capsules, like, come on. Excessive packaging or what? Like, look. More of these things. See, all these bits bits and bobs in here. Oh, look, floss. Oh, random Pepto-Bismol. So yeah, everything is kind of so disorganized in here. Oh, I like this. And like, I have, oh, I didn't even know I had this. That would make my life easier when I'm like trying to paint my toes, which is very rare. Oh, look, another toothbrush. I've started sort of getting things a little organized on that side, but I'm debating kind of how to set up this side. And like, I still need to make sure that those little baskets are accessible. So it's a work in progress, but we're getting there. Here is the final product. I'm pretty happy with how everything fit in here and is organized and all that stuff. But uh, let me just go through everything that I have here. So I decided in this bottom drawer to keep some of the loose medicine and all the oral care down here. So like extra toothbrushes and then toothpaste. And then up here, I put band-aids and deodorant, um, like shaving stuff uh, as well. And then in the back, there is more loose ends of like dental care, like tooth, uh, sorry, um, like floss and like little toothpicks and flossers and then extras of my little cotton pads. So this was a little bit um, unexpected. I actually wasn't expecting to use this. Uh, in originally, I used to keep all like my hair stuff in this basket, but unfortunately the basket wasn't gonna fit in here. So for now I have this like black tub. It's not as visually appealing, but it did manage to fit everything that I wanted. So I have my hair dryer, hair accessories, hair care products and like clips and stuff in here. So I might actually go end up going back to the dollar store to get maybe a different looking basket, maybe something white that matches everything else with these like little holes in it. But for now, it'll do. And then in the back there, I have more cleaning products and um, shaving stuff as well. I might actually also go back to the dollar store and get another maybe stand. But the only thing I'm concerned about is if it's gonna fit because of the piping there. So we'll see. Uh, but right now I think I managed to fit most stuff. And then at the back, I just shoved um, you know extra stuff. Like I still have some COVID tests and we have our nitrile gloves because we actually need those to give our cat her medicine because she's hypothyroid so we have this we have to wear gloves when we give it to her so we have an extra box back there and then I had shampoo and like other cleaning products and stuff that I put here just as extras and our cleaner and then at the front here is the feminine products I actually am really happy with how this all fit in so yeah and then again extra stuff some sunscreen and stuff what I would like to do additionally is maybe put something on these doors because I feel like that's a lot of empty space as well that could probably hold some stuff. But overall, I think I'm very much happy with it. I ended up purging quite a bit of stuff, just like it was either expired or I had had it forever or like it just was like kind of not great conditions. So there you go. That is um, everything that's pretty much organized. So the rest of the bathroom I'm already pretty happy with. You know, I have minimal stuff out. Uh, I try to keep the counter space as clear as possible because really there's just not a lot of space to put stuff. So I just have like oral care, little minimal skincare that I use, our hairbrush. This medicine cabinet though is like, ugh, it, uh, it kind of needs to be organized, but we'll, 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 uh, we'll do that at some point. And then over here is where I kind of keep anything that I want to be accessible. Like we use the Q-tips and the cotton pads. These glasses I got from an event that is here in Toronto. It's called Cask Days. It's like a, a beer event. They haven't really done it the last few years because of the pandemic, 
but um, they always give you a glass. So I decided instead of, you know, we have so many because we've, we've gone a few years in a row, but I thought they look really cute and it's a great way to reuse stuff. And they, they fit the cotton pads and, and the cotton swabs really well. So, and then I have uh, essential oils that I like to put a few drops in my shower every time I have a shower to make it smell pretty. So those are there. And then these are scents that I've had for quite a long time. I don't really use a lot of scents, but I like how it brings a little bit of color into the bathroom. And then I just have a little sign. And again, like they, these plants and, and that sort of stuff, either I got from the dollar store or Ikea. And then further up here, I have my makeup bag. I have a little basket where we keep a little few extra bits, bits and bobs there. And then a mirror. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward for the bathroom, but uh, it, it works, it's functional. So I'm so glad I finally got to get that done with the bathroom. I've been wanting to do it for probably years, but I was always overwhelmed or, you know, feeling like I couldn't find a good alternative that was reasonably priced. Uh, I actually got all that stuff from the dollar store and it was all under $20. So for all of that, leave me a comment down below on what your favorite was out of the methods that I used to organize under the sink, or maybe let me know what other ideas you might have that maybe I can put in the bathroom to make things even more organized. I love being organized. I think it really helps with like my overall anxiety and being able to find stuff and it's just so much easier. So yeah, I really enjoyed doing this. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure you are subscribed because I will be doing more organizational stuff like this in the future. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.